DeKalb School of the Arts presents The Reignite Project. I had so much fun in dance class today. I know, that's my favorite class. Ugh, we have science next. We have the science class. I don't know anything about any types of circuits. At all? I hear you guys are having trouble with circuits, but you love to dance? I think I can help. Why don't we try to learn it in a way that combines both? Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about series circuits and parallel circuits, and I've set up a little demonstration to help us understand. So first, let's talk about series circuits. In a series circuit, there's only one path for the energy to flow in. Let's make this out of a model. So right here, I have my power source, which is a battery, and I have my load, which is a light bulb. And now in a real circuit, we want power to flow from the battery into the light bulb to light it up. Today, we'll be using strips of paper to act as our wires. So I'm gonna set up a series circuit. I'm connecting my wires from the battery to the light bulb. So, the, in this series circuit, we have one path for the energy to flow. Energy is gonna go from this battery all the way into the light bulb, light it up, and then come back to the battery, and it goes in a circle. Now, what do you think is gonna happen if I take away one of the wires? Do you think the light bulb's gonna light up anymore? No, it's not. Because we don't have a wire that's taking the energy into the light bulb. That's what makes it a series circuit. There's only one path for the energy to flow in, and if that path is broken, the energy can't flow anymore. Now let's talk about parallel circuits. For this one, I need two light bulbs. Thank you. So, parts of a parallel circuit might look like a series circuit, but in a parallel circuit, there are multiple paths for the energy to flow. So I'm gonna need two more of my wires. Now, the energy can flow from the battery into the first light bulb and come back, but it can also flow from the battery through the first light bulb into the second light bulb to light it up and then come back. That's what makes it a parallel circuit. There are multiple paths for the energy to flow through. Now, let's see what happens if I take away one of the wires in this parallel circuit. Taking away this one, this path is cut off. But guess what? This path is still complete, so this light bulb can still light up. And that's what makes it a parallel circuit. There are multiple paths for the energy to flow. And if one of those paths is cut off, we can just use the other one. This is my friend Zaria. She's gonna help us answer a question. Zaria, can you tell me if this is a series circuit or a parallel circuit? This is a parallel circuit because there are many paths for the energy to flow. Thanks! Now it's your turn. Can you tell me if this is a series circuit or a parallel circuit? That's right, this is a series circuit because there's only one path for the energy to flow through. Phew, that was a lot of fun. Do you guys get it now? No. no. Hmm. Well, maybe there's one more way we can try to learn it. Whoa, where are we? What are we wearing? That doesn't matter. Now we're gonna play a game to try to help you guys understand series and parallel circuits a little better. Here's how it'll work. You guys are gonna act like electricity flowing through a wire in a circuit. At the beginning of each round, I'm gonna say series or parallel, and then I'll start the music and I'll give you a movement to do around the room. You're gonna act like the electricity flowing through a circuit. When I pause the music, you have to either stop if I said series circuit or keep moving if I said parallel circuit. Because remember, if you cut the wire in a series circuit, all of the electricity flow stops. But if you cut the wire in a parallel circuit, it keeps going. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's have some of my friends join us and we'll play together. Now all of you watching from home or school, stand up because you can play with us. Now everybody spread out and we'll start the first round. In this round, we're going to be a series circuit. So move around the room like a big ball of energy. And then when the, move, when the music stops, I'll say, wires cut. And then you have to behave like a series circuit. Ready, set, go. And wires cut. Awesome job, everyone. Since we were in a series circuit, when the wire was cut, the electricity flow stopped, so we had to stop moving. Let's get ready for round two. In this round, we're gonna be a parallel circuit. 
and I want you to skip around the room, and then when I say wires cut, act like a parallel circuit. Ready, set, go! When the wires cut, the electricity can still move in the circuit, so we have to keep moving. What a fun way to learn about a series and parallel circuits. Thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun learning about series and parallel circuits. I know, what a great way to get our bodies moving and our brains learning. Do you guys understand now? Yeah! Let's do a quick review. Today we learned about the difference between series and parallel circuits. In a series circuit, there is only one path for energy to flow through, and if that path gets disrupted, like when a wire gets cut, the energy can't flow and the light bulb won't turn on. In a parallel circuit, energy has more than one path to travel through, so if one path gets disrupted, the other ones work and some of the light bulbs can still light up. I think you guys are ready for your science test now. To celebrate, let's do an electricity dance. So everybody get your sparkle fingers ready, and let's dance! Woo!